Most of us already know the basics when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC coming November 5th. Well, mostly to uh, Rockstar Games Launcher, Epic, a few stores including GameStop as well as Google Stadia. It won't arrive on Steam until a month later in December. But the basic information I've already gone over in two previous videos. Feel free and check those out. But today, I want to share my thoughts about some questions that we have yet to get answers from, as well as some other thoughts, too, when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. By the way, you're welcome to share your views and opinions and thoughts regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC below in the comments section. The first thought I want to talk about is the launch itself of Red Dead Redemption 2 PC. Now, Rockstar does like to take their time in order to get a game right on a certain platform. Case in point, with Grand Theft Auto 4 on PC, its launch was a disaster, as some people may recall. Now, eventually Rockstar was able to get Grand Theft Auto 4 working properly on PC, which is a big reason why they took their sweet time with Grand Theft Auto 5 before they finally ported that over to PC. And it is a surprise that it's only basically a, a year since the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PS4 and Xbox One that we're getting the PC port for Red Dead Redemption 2. So that part is surprising, but it's also a possibility that the team at Rockstar responsible for ports for uh, PC versions of their game have had a year to get Red Dead Redemption 2 ready to run properly and functionally on PC. They came out with some minimum requirements as well as recommended and you know there's going to be different levels in between plus a top tier professional best gaming quality that you can experience out of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. So I feel confident that Rockstar has learned from the past but that doesn't stop uh, some issues from potentially popping up on November 5th when Red Dead Redemption 2 finally does drop on PC. The question is whether or not the issues will be serious or will they be just silly, laughable, typical launch issues. In the end, not a big deal. Or will it be serious game breaking for Red Dead Redemption 2 PC? That's definitely a thought that's on my mind, especially whenever you put it up with the Rockstar Games launcher, which Rockstar officially put out there on the sixth anniversary of Grand Theft Auto V. And I think they've had some updates to the Rockstar Games launcher. It still crashes a few times on some of the games like Grand Theft Auto V on the Rockstar Games launcher. So the hope is by the time of November 5th, when Red Dead Redemption 2 launches on PC, the Rockstar Games launcher will be good to go because they obviously are trying to encourage players out there to get Red Dead Redemption 2 via the Rockstar Games launcher. So hopefully that won't cause additional issues when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. The next issue I want to talk about is something that a lot of us are hopeful, excited about, including Mr. Morgan himself, Roger Clark. He is excited about the possibility, the ideas, and the mods that are going to come with Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. A lot of us are hopeful that Rockstar and Take-Two will allow the modding community to create awesome, fantastic, wonderful, wild, wacky, crazy mods for Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. Now, it's understandable that we're not going to be able to have mods on online. I completely understand that because the reality is, look, I know that there are mods out there that would be harmless on online. I get it. The problem is there's white hat modders that want to just create awesome content. And then there's the black hat modders that you know range from having uh, money mods, gold mods, token mods for online to basically just wanting to watch the world of Red Dead Online burn and God mode glitches and all that nonsense. And that's something that Rockstar obviously doesn't want to have in the PC version of Red Dead Online. So that's something they're going to have to be on guard for at day one when Red Dead Online launches. I think it's launching the same day as Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. So it's the same day launch. And that's definitely something that they've probably been spending a lot of time on, putting safeguards in place to prevent online mode from being modded. And hopefully, 
at the same time, they will still allow the modding community, like with Grand Theft Auto V PC, to allow story mode of Red Dead Redemption 2 to have mods in it. Because that's something, obviously, a lot of us, including Roger Clark, are very excited about. The question is whether or not Rockstar will officially allow that. I would say that in the interest of sales and making sure that as many copies of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC get purchased as possible, my answer is yes. Rockstar will openly allow us to have mods in story mode of Red Dead Redemption 2. However, they'll make it very clear that on, under no uncertain terms, they will not allow mods in online. I think that's a good compromise in my opinion. As long as we're allowed to have mods in story mode, Red Dead Redemption 2, PC, then I'm okay with that. So the next issue or thought, it's not really an issue. I don't know why I keep saying that. The next thought that crosses my mind is the Rockstar Editor, which a lot of us have loved in Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online. And so far, no word about whether or not the Rockstar Editor or Director Mode is coming with Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. And there's some speculation out there that it may be like a month wait on that, that maybe they're going to put it out like before the end of the year. That's speculation. Absolutely nothing confirmed. Another question that we would like to have answered from Rockstar, when are we getting the Rockstar editor for Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, as well as current-gen consoles, Xbox One and PS4? But I feel like the editor will probably come to PC first, and hopefully... We'll get it for current gen as well soon enough after. So that's something we would like. The Rockstar Editor, Director Mode, as well as uh, the Creator. I think they've even talked about a Creator Mode for uh, some of the uh, job types in Red Dead Online. Maybe that will also end up coming to Red Dead Online PC first before uh, current gen Xbox One and PS4. So all those uh, different uh, things kind of connect together in a way. A lot of people want a Rockstar Editor, Director Mode, as well as some sort of Creator Mode for online jobs, like Showdown Series, etc. Horse races with weapons disabled would be nice. Okay, so the Rockstar Games Launcher, we talked about that. That's another thought, another concern I have. I will move now to transferring of characters. This was something that we were allowed to do early on in uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, as most of you know, when Grand Theft Auto Online launched six years ago, it launched originally for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, a year later for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and we were allowed to transfer our characters over. And then a year after that, when uh, we got Grand Theft Auto Online for PC, and I think, what, 2015, I think? We were allowed to do the same thing. We were allowed to transfer from current gen PS4, Xbox One to PC. It was a one-way transfer, but for a limited time, we were allowed to do that. Now, it is the hope that we will once again have a window opportunity to do this. Because a lot of us don't really want to start over. Those of us that have been playing Red Dead Online on Xbox One, PS4, or in my case, both, I seriously don't want to start over again on Red Dead Online on PC. So hopefully there will be a window which will allow us the opportunity to transfer over our Xbox One or our PS4 character, which one ever you happen to have, from that console and create a copy of that character along with everything they got, the uh, horses, stable slots, uh, as well as clothing, weapons, and everything else. Rank wise to money, gold over to the PC. So we don't have nothing. A window opportunity would be very nice. But once again, another question that we still don't have any answers to that hopefully Rockstar will be addressing soon, hopefully by the next newswire. So that's something a lot of us are really hoping for the ability to transfer our characters from console to, to a PC because there's a lot of gamers out there that play on PS4, Xbox One, that are also PC gamers, and they would like to also be able to take all that with them and not have to start completely over. I think I've made that point. The next issue I would like to bring up is the exclusive content that is coming to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. Now, some of it is already available in Red Dead Online on current gen, like for example, the Lamal Revolver 
Evans Repeater, the High Roller uh, Revolver, as well as the Red Chestnut Arabian, the Perlino Andusian, the horse. Uh, those items are Reddit Online items. But currently, as of right now, we don't have access to any of those in story mode, Red Dead Redemption 2 for Xbox One or PC. However, all that content, plus some other more exclusive stuff, will be available to players for Red Dead Redemption 2 PC, which also include a new semi-auto pistol, the M1899, as well as a couple horses, the Warped Brindle Arabian, the Few Spots Appaloosa. There's going to be some variations of uh, wild horses roaming around. Uh, there's going to be three new uh, bounty hunting missions in story mode, two gang hideouts, two new treasure maps, as well as one brand new mission called To the Ends of the Earth. A couple questions I have about all this content that at the moment is exclusive for uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 PC. Does Rockstar have any intention of eventually giving that content to the very first people that bought Red Dead Redemption 2, i.e. the fans over on Xbox One and PS4, because we haven't gotten any new content for Red Dead Redemption 2, and there's the very real possibility that we may not even get a story DLC, but at the very least, it would be nice if Rockstar would give us, say, a Christmas gift, maybe sometime in December, with some of this content for Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, like the Lamar Revolver, the Evans Repeater, as well as the M1899 semi-auto pistol, and those horses, the Warped Brindle, Brindle Arabian, the Few Spots Appaloosa, and maybe some of the other things too, like the three bounty hunting missions, the two treasure maps, two gang attacks, the two, I mean, the new uh, mission to the ends of the earth. It would just be really cool if Rockstar had some sort of like Christmas or holiday season, like DLC free content uh, for uh, players on Xbox One and PS4 for Red Dead Redemption 2. It would be a nice little thank you gift from Rockstar for supporting Red Dead Redemption 2, even though obviously uh, players on PC would be getting that content first. It would just be something really cool Rockstar could do, potentially be a nice PR move. Whether or not they do it remains to be seen. And hopefully, just hopefully, we'll also see the M1899 semi-auto pistol, as well as those two horses, the, war the warped Brindle Arabian, and the few spot uh, Appaloosa eventually make their way over into Red Dead Online on all platforms, PC, PS4, as well as Xbox One. Maybe or maybe not. The other question is, are they simply just going to hold on to that content that we just talked about for the next gen? Because there is rumors out there that maybe Rockstar will do the same thing they did with Grand Theft Auto V, uh, double, triple dip. Whereas, you know, right now we have uh, Xbox One, PS4, coming soon, PC. But maybe a year from now, they're going to release another version of Red Dead Redemption 2 for Xbox uh, Scarlet or whatever it's going to be called, as well as PlayStation 5. Now, in my opinion, I would prefer it if Rockstar did the right thing on this and just made it backwards compatible because we know that the next Xbox is going to be backwards compatible because of the popularity of the Xbox One with uh, Xbox 360 games as well as original Xbox games. And we know that Sony has taken notice of that and they've already come out saying that they are working hard. I think they're still working on it on trying to make the PlayStation 5 backwards compatible as well. So the hope is we won't have to purchase another copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 a year from now uh, for Xbox, Scarlet, and PlayStation 5, depending on which next-gen console you happen to get. Because, you know, they're going to have Red Dead Online on next-gen as well. At the very least, it would be nice if we could just transfer that over. You know, the copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 from last gen to current gen, and maybe some upgrades as well as all that awesome content that I just mentioned. But it's also possible that Rockstar will simply just say, hey, we're releasing a you know PlayStation 5 version and an Xbox Scarlet version of the game. Updated graphics, much better. Plus, all the exclusive content we handed out to Red Dead Redemption 2 PC last year. Of course, I'm talking about in the future, a year from now. Holiday season 2020. So those are a couple questions I have about this exclusive PC content for Red Dead Redemption 2. I sincerely hope that best case scenario, Rockstar does end up giving a uh, current gen on Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, which has been asking at the very least for some free stuff 
like uh, the weapons, some of the horses that I mentioned. At least get that. Maybe not the treasure maps. Maybe not the new mission. Maybe not the bounty hunting missions. Maybe that would be too much. But at the very least, the horses, the weapons, you know, a free holiday season pack for Red Dead Redemption 2, Xbox One, PS4 would be nice. But it's also quite possible that they may just be holding on to all that stuff for a year from now, whenever the next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out for Xbox One. I mean, Xbox Two, or Xbox Next, or Xbox Scarlet, or whatever the hell it's going to be called, and the PlayStation 5. I sincerely hope that's not the case, but it is quite possible, especially if we go with Rockstar's track record, because they had different copies of you know last-gen, as well as current-gen copies of Grand Theft Auto V, and, of course, a copy of PAC version of Grand Theft Auto V. So it's possible we may see some double, triple dipping by Rockstar and Take-Two. It's not out of the realm of possibilities, even though I sincerely hope that's not the case. Now, personally, my thoughts regarding my own interest in Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. As some of my viewers know, I already have two copies of Red Dead Redemption 2, both Ultimate Editions, Xbox One, and PS4. And the main reason why I did that was so that I could, at the time, play with as many of my viewers, subscribers, and fans, and members as possible, which I'm still working on doing. You know, it's a balance. I think I do an okay job trying to spend half my time on PS4 and half my time on Xbox One, on stream and off stream. I'm still working on it. Now, whenever you introduce Red Dead Redemption 2 PC and Red Dead Online PC into the mix, it is going to make it a lot more difficult for me personally. So I've already made the decision that if, hopefully, big if, Rockstar and Take-Two does allow mods on Red Dead Redemption 2 PC Story Mode, which I sincerely hope they do, I think that's going to be my main thing when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2 PC, is basically it's going to be my mod sandbox, where I'll just go on PC for Red Dead Redemption 2 and check out all the awesome, wacky, silly, scary, spooky, insane mods that come out for Red Dead Redemption 2. And there may even be like a Red Dead Redemption 2M variant out there, similar to Grand Theft Auto 5M. That would be kind of cool as well. So that's my main reason for getting Red Dead Redemption 2 PC. I don't know if I plan on doing another uh, stream uh, start to finish of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, similar to that how I did a year ago for uh, the PC, the PS4 version of Red Dead Redemption 2. Mostly my Xbox One version has been my Black Hat series. That's my Black Hat sandbox for uh, Black Hat Arthur, as I call him. But for uh, PC, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 PC will just be a mod sandbox. <laughs> Modding paradise. Now, when it comes to Red Dead Online, I think I'm going to continue to just focus between PS4 and Xbox One. And maybe every now and then jump on um, Red Dead Online on PC Maybe the first week of launch, just to check it out, see if there's any real difference graphically, as well as all the issues that will pop up and most likely black hat modding problems that will arise. <laughs> it's going to happen. But like I said, Xbox One, PS4, my primaries for Red Dead Online, PC Online, secondary, you know, just avoid the modding issues that will most likely arise. Plus, the other issue is obvious, the transfer issue. Will we actually be able to transfer our PS4 or Xbox One character over to PC? Because if the, if the answer from Rockstar is a big fat no, then I have honestly no intention of wanting to start over again because I have I have two characters. like, And most of you that have one character know how long it takes to rank up your character. Now, thanks to the Frontier Pursuits update, it's a lot easier to rank up now, but leading up to the Frontier Pursuits update, it was a lot more slower process to rank up. So I have no interest of starting over a third time. So best case scenario, I want to take my highest ranked character, uh, Wolfus on PS4, has my most money, most gold, highest rank, and transfer him over to PC. I mean, give him a quote-unquote twin brother. And on PC, if that happens, then basically I would just log in for like the collectibles, you know, like login rewards, etc. And every now and then try out uh, Wolfus's bro brother on the PC. So that's basically my personal interest in Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC at the moment, as well as Red Dead Online on PC. And I know a lot of you out there have been holding out, waiting patiently for Red Dead Redemption 2 to come out on PC. Very excited, obviously. And I'll be honest with you. 
you're going to absolutely enjoy Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. For those of you that are first-timers, been waiting a whole year to play Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, I think you're going to enjoy this game as long as it doesn't have big game-breaking bug crashing issues day one of launch. Hopefully that won't happen with that or the Rockstar Games launcher. But if there's no serious issues, just minor little things here and there and bugs, for the most part, you're going to have a great time. It's a great story. Arthur Morgan is a fantastic protagonist. There's going to be plenty to do. The main story is, at the very least, 50, 60 hours long. If you want to be a completionist, it will take you even longer to do. So you're definitely going to get your money's worth out of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. Plus, Red Dead Online on PC as well, for those of you into Red Dead Online. And if you guys want to know my opinions about which version I think is best for you, the Ultimate Edition or Special Edition, Feel free and check out my specs video from just a few days ago where we go through all the information regarding that. So anyways, there's my thoughts, my views, and opinions regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. Still a lot of questions that we don't have answered. I'm hoping that Rockstar is seeing those questions via the feedback, their Twitter, social medias, comment sections, and hopefully they will be addressing those questions that we have very soon, like the modding question, the Rockstar editor question, the uh, transfer of characters question, the exclusive content question, whether or not we're actually going to be getting that stuff eventually for uh, current gen platform, PS4, Xbox One, etc. So what is your biggest question? What is your biggest thought regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 that is yet to be answered when it comes to the PC version? And is there any question that I left out? Any additional thoughts you may or may not have regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC coming November 5th? to Rockstar Games Launcher, Epic, various stores, including uh, GameStop, as well as Google Stadia, and of course, Steam in December. Your thoughts, welcome below in the comments section.